right uh, i'll give you my thoughts about this free the nipple movement uh, someone had sent me a instagram post about seems facebook and uh, uh, instagram or rather meta is going to is considering a new rule whereby uh, you know females photograph with their nipples they will not censor them or they will not delete or block or ban such accounts so you can show a female can show her nipples and i think uh, this complication came up when what trans man woman who who considers herself a man showed her nipples and her account was i don't know restricted or the photograph got deleted and then she who calls himself a he said uh, if other men can show their nipples why can't a trans man show his nipples anyway you <laughs> the logic is very confusing anyway so i was asked what do i think about this movement and what do i think of these rules being lifted in fact i found it very surprising on instagram nowadays there are um, many posts of females you know dressed up in skimpy clothes or see through clothes and dancing and juggling and it uh, see there's one way there is something that looks beautiful and erotic another one which looks really cheap and classless tasteless as you can call it so a lot of these posts are there and i don't understand why it's happening all right so what do i think about this free the nipple movement now what is a nipple like see i'm i'm roaming without a shirt i have a nipple on my chest which is non functional now if it was a female she would wear something to cover her breasts but now obviously depending on how bold or so called open minded the female is the cover becomes either smaller or becomes like a bikini or they have these extreme i guess outfits where only the nipple is covered in fact if you see most of the uh, videos or you see females walking on a catwalk they cover only the nipple and then you have people who just put a sticker there in fact some of the celebrity stars who have gone on the catwalk you can actually see this they just put a sticker or a star or something and some of them have gone total naked where you can see through them and they only cover the nipple and they only cover the the opening in between their leg which uh, is their genitalia but you know like one female my ex girlfriend she had described it this is an open wound it's a very sensitive area for a female and yes it's a genitalia so you know the first thing that goes through my mind is today you'll have free the nipple movement tomorrow you'll have free the genitalia movement then one day you'll be just let's be free let's all roam naked In fact in USA there are many places in this documentary what is a woman there is Matt Walsh he goes to interview people there's actually a guy actually a guy i think 50 or 60 years old he's completely naked except for his private region he has put a sock it's called a, i don't know what is it called but it's like a cock sock that means for his appendage he has just put a socks covering that uh, some perfectly fitting socks he's just covered only that rest there's no it's not like an underwear nothing and he's roaming freely and he's saying i'm not hurting anyone i'm not harming anyone i'm just in my natural skin and then you have some places in the west where there is nudist colonies and people say i'm alone with nature they all go naked vice documentary has where people roam naked because they want to be 
in tune with nature and then there are some people who say you have to when the sun rises the yoga they call it a yoga pose where you open your genitalia and get a little bit of sun tan over there and it seems it aligns your chakra or something like that so the question is how far do we go and where do you draw the line and then here's a bigger question if it is okay for people to show their private parts is it okay for children to see that yeah, simple question right is it okay for children to see that is it i mean then should children also be allowed to do this let's say a small child is growing up we show the child naked do you think it's safe do you think a uh, 12 13 14 year old boy or girl can be naked and show their private parts we can say you know free the nipple free the this free the that or would you say no that is not right only an adult but if you're talking of an adult and children are walking they can see all this right so is it okay to show yourself semi naked to a child you might say oh, yeah, his mother and father have that he so he should see so is it okay he sees others then is it okay he sees such movies that have you see the complications that come one after another after another after another then the question comes at what age do you start exposing children to all this in fact have you thought about it that forget children children are anyway confused you get teenagers you get young adults who are so confused about life and now they introduce to all this do you think there would be less confusion or more confusion in fact i think one of the best uh, statements i can give you is if your if your life is not in order let's say your career is not in place let's say you have no money in the bank account let's say you don't have a job you don't know where your next meal will come you don't have food to eat you don't have a career you don't have so that time is this a priority i'm sure the answer will be of course not the first priority is have a career have a job have money so doesn't that mean that this free the nipple and free the this and free the that is predominantly for people who are jobless who have nothing else to do in life in fact uh, i've come up with this theory you can tell me if i'm wrong or right people who are insecure no people who have issues mental emotional deep rooted issues or their upbringing is not proper what they do is they source out somebody else who thinks like them and then they try to source out another one they try to get a group and once they get a group then they get confident about it and today given the fact that there is social media any uh, mental emotional or deep seated issue problem they make it sound cool like for example you're confused about your gender so instead of trying to find a solution to it you're seeking a group online that would make you feel special wanted that will give you kind words and and once you fall for these kind words and you feel special you go in that direction the truth or the solution may be painful but you don't want that you want temporary relief like for example let's say losing weight keeping fit is not easy like right now i'm i'm hungry because i got up at around i think 3 o'clock or so i completed my work uh, finish my treadmill exercise now it is around 2 o'clock i'm pretty hungry but because i want to keep my body healthy discipline myself i'm not eating anything 
and now I'm making these videos walking outside. Now I can easily grab something and eat, but I want my body to be fit. I don't need to eat the whole day. And that's why my weight is like 69.5 right now. My height is 5'8", so I used to weigh 83, 84 kilos before, just four months ago. Now if I were to think like other people, oh, life is meant to enjoy, man, enjoy. I can enjoy, not that I can't. But I choose to discipline myself because I want to be fit. After this, I'll be going to the gym. You think anybody's bothered to see my physique? You think I have to show off to anyone? You think I'm going to post photographs on Facebook, Instagram, and get likes and followers? No, nothing. I might post a photograph if once in a month to see some progress, to show some progress. But the point is, see, have a look at this. Beautiful, huh? Hey, let me show you a close-up. See? Hmm. I see green, I see brown, I see all kinds of <sighs> colors. Hairy ones and anyway. So I can say you should love yourself, embrace your curves, be proud of who you are. But whom am I fooling with that extra fat or that overweight on my joints, on my organs, cholesterol, diabetes, blood pressure, whom am I fooling? When you're young, in your 20s, maybe you can do all this. As you get older, you can't write. So, the problem is you have these groups of individuals who seek out people who are going through problems like them, but make it feel cool and say, listen man, don't work hard. No need to lose weight. Be fat. Embrace yourself. Love yourself. These people are haters. Same way with the people who uh, don't want to study or don't want to be disciplined. Oh, you know, Bill Gates, he dropped out of college. Steve Jobs, he dropped out of college. Oh, this millionaire, billionaire, he dropped out of college. Street smart is better. Be enterprising, you're an entrepreneur, you're creative. Instead of trying to figure out the solution, they hear these sweet sounding words and they go for it. So now here you have Free the Nipple, which is nothing but a kind of a feminist movement where they're trying to be equal to men. Then along with Free the Nipple will be Free the Periods. There are females who say, don't be ashamed of your period blood, show it, let it flow. Some smear it on their face and one, I remember one where a girl, female, calls herself a trans man and is sitting on a bench with the, the trousers being soaked in blood because of, it's a female actually, she gets, she's having her periods, but she calls herself a trans man having periods. Being a man, I get my periods. I think that was the title. I'm not ashamed about it. So I was, you know, I used to tell people, in that case, I, I defecate, I poop, I shit, it smells bad, shouldn't I be proud about it? Just like you're smearing all this, maybe I should smear shit on my face and be proud. It's after all part of me, you know. I mean, how far do we go, where do we draw the line? Once upon a time, there were some things which are disgusting, some things which are unacceptable, some things which were wrong. We are living in a day and age where people are just proud of being, I don't know, shameless, like two-some, three-some, porn stars. They call it porn stars. In fact, uh, we are living in a day and age where Mia Khalifa and her bunch of ex-porn stars are giving advice to women how to behave. We are getting men who are jailed for doing wrong things, saying you need to be a man and you need to sleep around and smoke and drink and show your manliness. And instead of focusing what matters, study, earn your career, be independent, discipline yourself. No, show your six pack, show it. 
show your manliness, fight and like I said, no? when you have mental, emotional and other deep rooted problems, the easiest solution is just search online of people who are like you and self-diagnose. And this is not limited to only these serious issues. We also have people who self-diagnose. I get people who tell me, Loy, you're ADHD, I'm also ADHD. And I ask them, how, how do you know you're ADHD? Oh, I checked online for symptoms. Imagine a 12, 13, 14, 15, 20 year old telling me he's ADHD. And I asked him, did you go to a proper certified doctor? No, 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 but I know. Oh, I have this disorder, that disorder. Self-diagnosis. What can you say? So, oh, Loi, you're ADHD, I'm ADHD. You're atheist, I'm atheist. You dare to be different, I dare to be different. You're a rebel, I'm a rebel. Why are you associating yourself with me, man? This is a problem with today's world. So overall, what I can tell you this free the nipple or whatever. It's a body part which has certain connotations. Men, right from early on, they never had functional breasts, so they don't hide it. Women had functional breasts, it had a certain function to breastfeed their children, and there's a sexual connotation to it. That's why they keep it covered. Yes, in the ancient villages, and they keep it open and you know, it's like you cherry pick, oh, they did it, so I'll do it. Yeah, then why don't you stay like them? No AC, sleeping on the floor, going to the toilet in the jungle and eating uh, unprocessed food. Why don't you do that? Why are you cherry picking one thing out of 10,000 things and saying, oh, they did it naturally, I'll do it naturally. Now be there. They don't have Instagram. They don't have Facebook. They don't put makeup. All that you don't want. You just cherry pick. So how do you reason out with such people? For me, you want to free the nipple, you want to free the... Free whatever you want to free, you free. You want to be free yourself, you be free. But for a person who has his or her priorities in order, whose brain is at least in the right place. They see all this as gimmicks. Because the logic is simple. No food, no money, no shelter, no future. Where does this free the nipple come? And then, if you're a family person and you have a child, you'll think in terms of responsibility towards the younger generation and think like a parent and less like an idiot. And given the day and age that we are in, it's unfortunate that a lot of idiots are there and even more unfortunate that a lot of idiots who are become parents and they end up either doing a terrible job, destroying the life of a young one or neglecting them so much that they become they get born, you know, they are raised with social media nonsense. So these are my thoughts about free the nipple. A total waste, unwanted, nonsensical concept that people are just giving importance for no reason. Like I said, if it's not appropriate for front of children, it's not appropriate front of your adults, front of let's say a corporate world there's a reason for it if you have to do it hiding and not show anyone and there are certain places where you can do it that means there's something to it right why are you trying to justify stupidity anyway these are my thoughts let me know what are yours all right you guys take care